Hi there, you little chicken nugget neighbors. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Well, howdy ho, neighbor. I'm just on my daily route, and I tell you what, today has been pretty cool. You want to know some of the stuff I've seen today? Well, I'm going to tell you anyway. So on my first delivery, I ran into the most distinguished gentleman. Someone with whom I locked eyes with, I felt more sophisticated and wiser. You ready to see who I met? Check this picture out. <laughs> right? His name is Sir Skippy Nutterbutter, and he is a great dude. Then, I was walking down the sidewalk, and I saw the craziest thing. Look! I mean, look, it's just a normal guy walking his pet, right? Wrong. It's just a normal pet, right? No, it's a fish! I ain't kidding! This man is walking his two-pound fish. I didn't even think that was possible, did you? And to make things even more wild, I found this. Now, my buddy Andrew's house is always my last stop. And when I saw this at the bottom of my bag, I got a really weird feeling. I mean, who gets top secret messages? I mean, is Andrew a secret agent? Is Andrew like the secret billionaire owner of Disney or something? What can it be? You know, part of me really wants to read what's inside. Is that wrong? Of course it's wrong. All my mail carrying training has told me not to do that, but I want to so bad. What to do, what to do? What's this? That's not, not, it's not yours, it's Andrew's. What is this? Andrew, who's Andrew? He's my buddy. Okay, give it. No, no you can't. Please give it. No, you, you can't have oh! it. Oh, <laughs> look what happened. <laughs> Bye. That was strange. Well, that was a little rude. Wait, the letter's open. It's from Andrew's boss. Well, apparently Andrew works for a cookie company. There's gonna be some sort of top secret meeting that he should invite all his friends to. Wait a minute, what does this mean? Is this code? Does this mean Andrew's a top secret spy? What about the cookie company he works for? Is cookie code for mind control? Is Andrew trying to control my mind? Oh, I'm not so sure I, hey, Carl. Ah, leave my mind alone, you cookie monster. Oh, uh, what? Oh, nothing. I was just um, daydreaming of puppies. Puppies? You called me a cookie monster. That's what I call puppies because puppies are so sweet. Okay, is, is that for me? Well, oh, these, no, these are 100% uh, prescription. They're not like, not uh, not prescription. Like they're not a fashion statement or anything. It's just glasses on my head that I need. They're mine. I was talking about the letter, Carl. The letter? What letter? The red one in your hand that has my name on it. Oh, um, <laughs> this one? Yeah, uh, here you go. Oh, thanks. I didn't read it, by the way. I mean, I, there's the things that were inside of it, I definitely did not read. You're acting weird today. Oh, cool. Please don't control my mind, you secret cookie man, Andrew. What? What are you talking about? I didn't mean to read it, Andrew. I was holding it, and I, like, I, I was thinking of all the reasons why I shouldn't read it, and then I was wondering why you had a top secret envelope in the first place. And then that weirdo Andy showed up and completely ruined it. He pulled on it, and it opened, and I pulled the letter out, and I read it, and I know I shouldn't have. Okay, so... So I guess it just boils down to, I know, now know that you're a spy, and you work for a cookie company. Now you gotta control my mind. I'm so sorry, Andrew. Please don't hurt me. Carl, chill out. I'm not a spy. You're not? No, this is an invite to a themed business party for my work. It's spy themed. It says you're invited to an on the case party. It even tells me right here I should invite my friends. Uh, you should come. It'll be fun. Oh, well, wow. That does sound like a lot of fun. But why would I be invited to do something so cool? Because this party's for everyone. Kind of like people who follow Jesus. It's, it's for everyone. It's like a big family. Hold up. What do you mean by that? I'm just saying, like in Acts 11, everyone's invited to be a part of God's family. What happens in Acts 11? Is that the story where Peter has a vision? It is. It all started because Peter had been hanging out with people who were called Gentiles, which are people who didn't practice Jewish customs or people who weren't born into Jewish families. So they didn't follow the laws that Jewish people did. Oh, I see. And there's some people that didn't like that, right? You got it. Peter was being judged by others and being told that not following every custom and law was a big problem. And then Peter had a vision. 
A vision like in marble? <laughs> Not quite. It, it was like a dream, but it came from God. What did Peter see? He said this, I saw something like a large sheet being let down from heaven by its four corners, and it came down to where I was. I looked into it and saw four-footed animals of the earth, wild beasts, reptiles, and birds. Then I heard a voice telling me, get up, Peter, kill and eat. Hold on, back up. So God was telling us that we can eat any type of animal? When the Old Testament says that like a whole bunch of these animals were just like off limits because they're like just straight up unclean. Exactly. That was Peter's reaction. But God spoke back by saying, do not call anything impure that God has made clean. Wow. So what was once a law, God has now allowed. And all because God made it clean? Wait, is that because of Jesus? It sure is. Jesus came to build a bridge from the old law into the new law. Jesus made everything complete. So some things weren't needed anymore and other things became more important. Really? Why? Think about it. Now that those laws weren't being observed, that allowed every person to have a chance to follow God. Oh, so that's what you meant earlier. Everyone's invited to be part of the family of God. Exactly. Now, Carl, do you know people in your life who are hurting or maybe struggling? Sure do. Do you know people who are always angry or rude? You bet I do. I got a cousin named Curly that'll punch you in the armpit for just looking at him weird. Exactly. Now because of what Jesus did on the cross, everyone, and I mean everyone, can now be saved and forgiven from all of our past mistakes. It doesn't matter what you've done, what you've eaten, or what problem you may have been born into. That's great news, but what about the future? What do you mean? Like for all those people who might make mistakes in the future, does God still forgive and deliver them too? Absolutely. That's what's great about all of this. God offers a new life to everyone who wants it. And God promises that everyone who follows Jesus will be given the Holy Spirit. The same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead? That's the one. I can't tell you how great it is to know that God can deliver everyone. Wow, what a fun and wild story. I tell you what, Carl may be a little nosy, but he sure makes me think. Now, right here, I have our big idea for the day. Are you ready? All right, let's see what's inside. Today's big idea is God can deliver everyone. So let's shout it out loud on the count of three, okay? One, two, three. God can deliver everyone. Great job, kids. Now, I heard next week Carl would be delivering a really big mystery box to Andrew. And I don't know about you, but I can't wait to find out what's inside. So let's get excited and I'll see you next time, okay? Bye kids. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV.